Hello everybody, Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 2. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. That being said, let's just get down into the video. Last episode, we got the Archangel recruited, which turned out to be Garrus, and we helped out Zaid. Even though he was an asshole willing to destroy the refinery and kill all the slave workers just to kill one man, we said, fuck that, we're gonna save all the workers, and so we did and told Zaid to either get the fuck out or deal with it. All right. Make sure there's nothing here there isn't. Okay. So, I think we're going to do the Firewalker missions. Yep, I thought so. We're going to do the Firewalker missions. That way, then, we can, um, have them done. They're not hard to do. They're just another DLC. Um, if you pre-ordered the game, you ended up getting the DLC for this. It was the pre-order bonus. It was called... You ended up getting this little membership card. It was like a Cerberus Command membership card. And if you pre-ordered the game, it just came with your game. And you just oh, typed gosh. in the code... And it, you just downloaded this and, like, a few extra weapons. I didn't get this game when it first came out. I got it, like, maybe a year or two after it came out, because I'd never even heard of this series. So, um, a friend of mine introduced it to me. And I played it and instantly fell in love with it, so... <laughs> but I remember I went to the midnight release of Mass Spec 3. It was at a GameStop. And what was really cool, the guy who was running the midnight release... Um, had like a little party. It started at like 8 o'clock or something. And he was a he was a um, D and D master, a dungeon master, and so he made a D and D scenario with um, he made a D and D scenario with Mass Effect. It was a Mass Effect themed D and D scenario. It was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. It was so much fun. It, it really was. It really was. The only thing you got for three when you pre-ordered the game was, um... It was the N7 Eagle. That's all you got. Believe it or not. There we go. Now we have incinerary ammo. Oh, crap. That's okay. I keep forgetting the other two. Like I said, the Firewalker missions are 
really optional, but I do them because it's free credits. So... And I need to build up credits anyway, because I spent a good bit of them on Omega. Hammerhead, it seems cool, but... Yeah, I didn't need to boost through the fire. <laughs> there it is. I can never remember where all these points are. I, I can never remember. You would think you'd be able to, like, ramp off this if you boosted, but no, you actually have to jump over them. It, it's kind of stupid. You'd, it'd be cool if you could Dukes a Hazard it, but you can't. One more, and I always... Oh, there it is. I always seem to forget where it is. Oh, I know how to get to it. Jump over this way. That's right. That's right. Now, this is the last piece of research. Alright. That one was an easy one. Okay. Now, you get a bunch of different missions for the Firewalker. And it doesn't matter what order you do them in, you just have to do them all. I wish they would have um, gave them to you one at a time. Okay, so prior... Project Firewalker. Oh, thanks for retrieving the Emmerhead. Just keep it on the ship. Okay. All right. Now, I believe it's just the mass relay system that we need to explore. We have used half our fuel. It is. Okay. Like I said, I want to build up as many credits as I can get doing these optional missions before I go to the Citadel. That way then I can buy everything at the Citadel in one go, you know? Even though we'll be there later, but still, it, I just like getting everything I can as soon as I can, you know? 
and then you go on the ship, you upgrade everything, and then, um, you can be stronger. Probe away. We are depleting the entire galaxy <laughs> of resources. You would think that would be a that would be a achievement, but it's not. Depleting every single planet. It's not, but you would think it is. Um Probe away. There we go. Oh guy. We'll go Geth Incursion next, why not? And this is the same fucking si and I don't understand why they, they put this in the same system as um, Project Overlord. I, I I don't get it. I don't get it. Why they couldn't leave that till later? Whatever. You can deal with it now if you wanted to. Um, you really don't need the upgrades to deal with Project Overlord, but I would suggest getting them. I have detected an anomaly. I really would. I, I'd, I'd recommend getting them. Oh, this is the one where we gather everything. In the coal. It doesn't matter what team you take in this, because you're not going to be fighting in, um... On foot. So, warning prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures may degrade engine performance. Mission objectives located. Okay. Oh. You know, I was watching um, AVGN, the newest um, episode. It was him beating um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And I, I gotta say, I, I can't believe his show is 20 years old, for one. But 20 years ago, it was way fucking funnier than it is now, you know? And it's like, back when he first started, he cared more about the content, not the, um, not the effects and all that. Nowadays, it's like watching a little mini-movie, you know? And it's like, you know, lay off the fucking special effects, lay off the fucking, um, like epilogue or whatever, you know, or the intros or whatever. Engine temperature below recommended parameters. And it's like, come on, man. Extraction complete. Back in the day, his videos were short, sweet, and to the point, you know? It was him showing off the frustration that we all fucking went through of those old classic games. And, you know, that's why it was over, because we could all relate. Now it's him just making up shit, and it's like, come on, man. It's like the Pepsi Man um, episode. He concentrated more on the special effects than he did the actual content. The jokes are not funny. I understand him cutting back on the swearing, 
you know. Oh no! I've, I've done this so many times, you'd think- Oh, there it is. You'd think I'd remember how to do this. No! Okay. But yeah, like I said, I, I understand him um, cutting back the swearing because of his daughter, you know? So I do understand that, but... What what's happening is with him? He's sponsored nowadays, and I accept he needs money. He needs to be able to support his family. I I understand that. I I do. I understand that completely. However, you have got to think of the viewer, and the sponsors have taken over his channel and taken over his content. You can tell he has no control over what he makes anymore. And I'm not knocking him for um, evolving and making better videos and stuff like that. I understand that, but you got you got to really think. I mean, people can't relate to it anymore. That that's the problem. That's the problem. Why his why I think his videos are not near as funny as they used to be. It's kind of like he suffers from the Saturday Night Live syndrome. And what do I mean by that? Well, Saturday Night Live back in the 70s and 80s, before the corporations got involved with it, was so much funny. Was so much funnier. You know? It was way funnier back in the 70s and the 80s and even in, into the early 90s. But as soon as the frickin' mainstream got involved with it and the sponsors got involved with it and the corporations got involved with it, um... It just got to the point where it's just not funny anymore. It's politicized. It's, you know, it's just not entertaining anymore. So politically correct. And I mean, my God, um, I mean, my God, freaking Keenan Thompson, he grew up doing all that. And that's, and, um, he upgraded to Saturday Night Live, but the problem is they have him doing a skit called Black Jeopardy, where it's just nothing but stereotypical black people talking in that black slang. And it's like, come on, man, that's not funny. And yet they all bitch about the stereotypes and them being stereotypes and all that. And it's like, really? Element Zero is used for bioamp and omni-tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. God, I like it with the AVGF. I remember he first came out back in what was it, 06? October of 06? Because I graduated in 06, graduated high school from 06. And I remember we were, me and a buddy of mine, we thought he was the greatest fucking thing on YouTube back then, you know? We looked forward to his videos, you know? I even showed my dad the Atari, yeah, it was the Atari 5200 one, and he just sat there and pissed himself laughing because it was all fucking true. He doesn't even use the original theme anymore. Which I get it, Kyle Justin left to the massacre. And I understand why, because they lost control of Cinema Massacre. You know, now it's all the sponsors and all that are that are running that company now. So Launching probe. You 
remember what the early years of AVG of the Angry Video Game Nerd reminded me of when he was in the Angry Nintendo Nerd? It reminded me of Wayne's World. Kinda. Just a guy in his basement, just having a good time, you know? I mean, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm just sitting here having a good time myself. So. You know, I mean, like, this is just me just bullshitting while I'm looking at all the planets. Um... Anomaly. You don't even have to look for the anomaly. You could just shoot the probe and, oh, here it is. You know? Okay. We're going to have ourselves a sausage fest. <laughs> We'll get cryo ammo up. You don't need that. You need that. Aye, what do you have? Okay. Now we're going to cheese this a little bit. We're going to stay back. Because if you stay back, they can't shoot at you. Don't go up and get close range on these guys because they'll just murder you. I'm thinking that's all of them. Okay. Same here, don't don't get up close to these guys, just um stay back and kill them, you know. Yeah, it's cheap, but hey, you know. Not my fault this game was, um, coded poorly, you know?
See, I mean, look at that. <laughs> that trooper's hiding behind the damn thing over there. Do I need the resources? No, but I'm going to take them anyway. <laughs> that way then I have them. I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them, you know. There we go. Acquired. Because the fire, or because the hammerhead's more mobile, um, I think that's why you're supposed to not just sit still and shoot the geth. You're supposed to um, move around and shoot them, but... Extraction complete. Because with the Mako, you could just sit still and kill, um, kill the enemies before they'd even get a chance to kill you, you know? Make it rain, bitch. Boom, there we go. Oh, we're going the wrong way. You can go that way if you want, but you get extra enemies going this way. There we go. Extra enemies, extra experience. And you get extra resource right here. Okay. Warning. Get forces detected. And then you want to jump over here. Do not take those guys on on the platform. They will murder you. There we go. All five have been picked Mission up. Objectives completed. Okay.
Okay, and they're saying, oh, the artifacts are good for the historians. Okay, whatever. Some of these messages are just fucking useless, you know? It's all junk text or some of the messages, you know? I mean, you get a message for doing something, it's like, okay, is Shepard gonna get a message for taking a shit? Hey, what a nice shit, Shepard! I mean, is Edie gonna send him a message saying, hey, nice shit, Shepard? You know? Okay. Now we got all that um explored and depleted. <laughs> This mod is so cheap. It is so cheap, man. It really is. Okay. We're done there. Now we're going to recover the research data. After we explore the other system over here. Do I need the resources right now? No, but I'm going to take them anyway. That way then I don't have to do it later. And I'm already in the neighborhood anyway, so I may as well just take them. I don't understand why Ezo is so hard to find. I really don't get it. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe. Okay, that should be the last one for this one. There we go.
That was a rich planet. That's good. Here we go, the next Firewalker mission. I don't know what it is, but if I drink water, it's gotta be cold, you know? It's gotta be cold, you know? Okay, this one you're not searching for. First geothermal activity has rendered pathfinding function inoperable. Please use manual controls to locate research base. This one you're looking for the research base. Okay. So now... Yeah, I got it. Cool. Wired. I think we have to come over from here to get to it. There we go. Extraction complete. Okay. And I'm thinking this is all the um extraction points. I'm thinking so. I've never got them all before. I've always just skipped them. Well, I think we got them all. Research base entrance ahead. Acquired. Okay. It doesn't matter if you have your gun equipped or not, because you're not going to fight anything in here, so... One thing I will do... Well, yeah, I'll do that. Open the wall safe. Data pad. It's just the log. You don't really need to see it, but I'll do it anyway because fuck it. You know? Bypass the door here. There we go. Oh, 
all this just for some refined iridium. <laughs> I mean, that's all that was in there. I mean, come on, make it worth something. I was right. This site was a roadmap leading to the main Prothean ruins. Dr. Aloy and I agree that this must remain a secret at all costs. I will not allow another Eden Prime to occur. The Geth, the Reapers, all of them, they must be stopped. All right, and then here's the other log. They're freaking out about the volcanic activity. Getting out of here. Run, Forrest, run. Now you would think for how much of a rush Shepard's in, he'd just jump this guardrail, but he won't. You gotta actually walk around. <laughs> You're not time to get out. Did they just want to make you think you're timed, but you're not? Oh. I used to be good at this. I used to be able to rush through this and jump, get these jumps every time. But sometimes I gotta slow down because of the shaking. Extraction complete. There we go. I'm not falling victim to this. I've fallen victim to that many times. I have fallen into that lava many times. <laughs> That's why I slow down and wait. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so since we found all the um, stuff, the research for Project Firewalker. We now get to go to the Prothean site. So because we got all that research from that base, now we know where the site is. <clears throat> According to them, so okay. Yes, Edie, we know that. Nope. Now, one game I'm kind of thinking of playing too, and I'll do it on a different day, is um, Star Wars The Old Republic. I don't know why. I don't know why, but that game is just, it's speaking to me for some reason. I don't know why. I've always done Sith Warriors when I used to play that game. I, I'm thinking of doing a Jedi, you know? That's the thing, though, too. 
I would want somebody to play with me, you know? I, I would. I'd want somebody to play with me. Okay. Go out this way first. Go, the last firewalker mission. Probe launched. I have found Okay. Kinetic barrier detected. Kinetic barrier strength beyond conventional weapon capability. Recommend disabling power sources. Oh, we will. There's one. Just follow the cables. What you do. I can't get up there from here. There we go. No.
There. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Kinetic barrier deactivated. Path is clear. Okay, I don't think there's any um, enemies down here. Data pad just tells you what's going on here. He's like, oh, we're, we found it. We found it. We're jizzing our pants, you know. Good for you. This looks interesting. There we go. We got a free upgrade. Okay, here's the relic. Okay. So then Pro Project Firewalker, hey, you found the, um, the artifact at the historical discovery. Thanks a lot. Okay, you're welcome. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. See what well, we did, but you a little late on that. Alright, let's get the biotic damage upgrade. And that's it, okay. you commander is there anything i should know nothing right now anything else commander that'll be all take care 
Okay. Now we got that done. Now we're just going to go around checking all the other planets and making sure there's nothing else hidden. Okay. I'm not going to do any of the missions yet except for, you know, the anomalies. That way we can have those done and we don't have to worry about um, looking for those later. That, and you get some of the upgrades from that stuff too. I'm going to save the smuggled cargo for later. That way then I can upgrade the heavy weapon ammo. That, I, I gotta find out how to get all the crates. I've never actually done it. I've, they've always destroyed at least one or two. Um, Launching probe. There's gotta be an easier way to doing it. Like, I don't know if you need the grenade launcher or... Or the missile launcher or what I don't know but um, I gotta look up how to do it I doubt you need the firestorm well maybe we don't need to do anything Okay. Well, we're just going to go to the Citadel. We'll recruit... Um, we'll recruit the Master Thief. And then we'll go around and buy everything. Because we need the Star Charts. That's the biggest thing we need. We'll bring Garrus too, why not? Because he was former CSAC, so. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. 
Kasumi Koto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Good to have you along, Kasumi. You ready to go? I travel light. I've already slipped my things aboard your ship. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. I have a feeling you know something I don't. They didn't tell you? And they call me secretive. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Dude, I'd totally bank Asumi. I totally would. <laughs> Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You... Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Okay. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness, the increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Okay. We'll buy the fishies and the model. might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. 
Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Okay. This should come in handy. Take the upgrades first, as they're the most expensive. Take the gun. There we go. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 million players. The people want to. Kalisa have been seen in Al Jalani, Western Lanu. Akalugi in her hand, Shepard. <laughs> I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You walked out in the middle of the interview. Made a lot of humans question what the council might be hiding. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. You're bad, you're news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of- I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Checked it. Did we get it? Nice. <laughs> I don't know why that is so much fun, but it is. It is so much fun to punch her in the face. Okay, so now we're gonna go all the way downstairs. So we can. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. Have you ever been up there? No. Zizek won't let me. They say I'm a prince. Okay, here's the cafe. High grade provisions. This is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn city. There it is. I'm like, where's the stairs? Here they are. Then we'll come over here and get this quest. Sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Guy? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. 
With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my, you are Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Okay. This looks interesting. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. Hey, look, it's Rebecca and Michael. Like the two that were arguing with a baby. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. It's... <laughs> Rick and Garrus is like, yeah. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit shit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you, she gets harassed and insulted by this guy and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Okay. That's everything. There we're looking... What we were looking for. We want to get back to the Normandy. And then I'm going to have to call it for this video because it's getting to be lunchtime for me. Well, actually, let me do the upgrades first and then I'll for this video. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. From who? Emily Wong, Consort, and Dr. Michelle. And I didn't go see... That's okay. I'll go see him later. I didn't go see Anderson.
¿Ok? That's all of it. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to have to call it for this video. So I hope you all had fun this episode. I did. We got the um, Project Firewalker done. I need a selfie before we go. Now that I'm thinking about it. We'll take one with Kelly. Why not? Why not? Okay. So I'm going to call it for this video. So I hope you all had fun. I'll see you all next episode.